Christmas from Z Fam Mama. Favorite Christmas gift this year. My hubby got me an apron with Z Fam Mama on it. So I'm really excited because it's the style that I like. And of course, who wouldn't like their own little name on their apron? So, just want to wish you all a Merry Christmas 2016. So, I was just want to show you really quick one of the things I love to do just to make the Christmas day a little bit more fun is I love apple cider. Now, we're trying a little different one as I spill here. This year, this is a Musselman's. Anyways, it's spiced already, so I don't have to. Normally, I add in oranges and cinnamon sticks and cloves, but this year, because it's nice and thick and you can just see the stuff floating around in there. So, I put that on. I put it on high for about 10 to 15 minutes and then I just turn it down to simmer so all day you can enjoy hot cider with our cute little Christmas cups. So next I'm going to show you our prime rib. So now I'm going to show you we have a very large prime rib I bought this year. Okay I buy one every year you now even though some of our family members aren't around this year. Uh, so we'll have a few extra dinners this week. So it could be kind of nice since we're on vacation. This one is an 18 pound prime rib. <laughs> <laughs> we do this every year. They're just being dramatic. But let me introduce or let them introduce themselves to you. Hi, I'm Anna. I'm Kayla. And we're her lovely daughters. I meant, oh, I said that wrong. This is our lovely mother. <laughs> we're her daughters. We're from Stay at Home Daughters West Coast and we are joining in the prime rib today. And so they're going to be my assistants. I already sprayed my pan. I always like to do a really nice large pan. The nice thing about the way I do prime rib is once you do this prep, I put it in the oven on 350 and that's it. I don't pull it out till we're ready to go and then normally my husband will carve it for us. So the rule of thumb, a couple family secrets here. Um, we've been doing this since my grandparents, so they're great grandparents, is 15 minutes per pound. So when I took over making the prime rib, it was always a stressful time when it came out of the oven. Hurry, get everything ready, get everything done, come, hurry, hurry, and then everything, all the stress level went nuts. And so I said, I can't do this. When I started hosting Christmas, I did 15 minutes per pound, or yeah, times 18, you know, like this would be times 18 pounds. But then what I do is I take a half hour off because with roast or prime ribs, they will continue cooking when you pull it out of the oven. So it just gives that 20 minutes of, oh, go ahead and carve it, and then we get all the fixings out for dinner. It just makes it a little more smooth. And these ends will be done, the middle will be more rare. So if you want it more done, leave it in there the whole time, and it'll cook, and by the time you get it on your plate, it'll be perfectly, probably medium rare to, and then medium rare here, and then well done on the ends. So we're gonna start. I've already washed my hands, so here we go. Yellow mustard. You give a good old squeeze that. Ah! There you go. There we go. Give a good old splash of mustard. And then Kayla. Ice cream rock salt. So rock salts. There you go. Oh, nice. Okay. Perfect mix. And then I rub it all together, and then we coat it on here. I will tell you, it's very cold. If you don't have to have refrigerated mutter, mu mustard, <laughs> mutter, then don't keep it room temperature. My hands are so cold right now. And if you ever have cuts on your fingers, mm. always wear gloves. Rubber gloves are perfect for this. So we're gonna pat it all down. Okay, I'm gonna need a lot more mustard. Gorgeous one. Yeah, that's okay. All right, now give me some rock salt. There we How go. How simple is this? Thank you. It so we love it on there. Oh, I forgot to tell you because we probably will not do a video when it comes out tonight. When it comes out of the oven, we scrape this all off using a knife, just the back side of the knife, and then cut the little strings on here, and then he carves it because you shouldn't eat rock salt. It's not good for you. So just slice it all off of there, and I'm telling you, it's the best prime rib I've ever had, and it's the most juicy and tasteful and so easy. I mean, sure there's a little prep work here, but this is really nothing. Of all the marinades to have, this one's really nice. And it tastes so good. And I like to make sure I get the ends of it. And I need dropping it here so you can see. But can we turn the pan so they can see the other side of this too as I'm doing it? I'll get a little more rocks off. Muscle man! <laughs> Come on, 18 pounds of nothing. A little more mustard, please. See, they're so good. They know the right amounts to do and everything. 
But you've been doing this with me for how many years? Uh, ooh, four, eight? Five, long. No, five. Oh, yeah. This yeah. is our yeah. last house. Yeah. So. so. Yeah. So. Oh, she was still helpful. Yeah. yeah. I mean, a little kid can squeeze mustard. It's nothing fancy. <laughs> all right, let's do a little more. For all the boys what? out there, a little farting. <laughs> <laughs> all right, great. <laughs> One last thing is I do cover it with foil. So just put a piece of foil on it and cover it. And I'm telling you, easy peasy. So there Western you got squeezy. it. <laughs> Rock so easy. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. You guys all have a very Merry Christmas. May yes. God bless you in the coming year. And we'll see you in 2017. If you're having prime rib, enjoy. <laughs>